Hello everyone and welcome to the 0 to 10 Serum 2013 video series. My name is David Kohar and today's session is going to be on how to display Bing Maps in a variety of ways inside of Microsoft Dynamics Serum. We have a few scenarios that we want to go through in the demonstration today. We're going to begin on companies and contacts and do some filtering, drill downs, and show how those display on a Bing map. And then next we're going to show a candidate tracking scenario where we're going to take and match some criteria for an individual that we're looking for. We're going to display those results on a map, and then we're going to take those results and actually match them up to an opportunity record. So let's go ahead and begin the overview of these three scenarios. I'm going to start here in Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2013. I'm going to navigate over to the companies area. I'm going to pull up a list of my active companies, and I can see here on the right-hand side my chart shows my accounts by customer tier. I can actually change that to show account locations. In this case, it's actually going to render the Bing map, and it's going to display visually where all these particular locations are. If I want to change around where that map uh, displays, I may want to see that actually more at the top of the page here so that I can see across uh, the, uh, the map a little bit better. I can do that as well. I notice that there's two locations in Washington, and so I can see those here on the map. And then if I want to click on either one of them, it'll actually pull up the record inside of CRM automatically for me. So here we are at Microsoft Recruiting, and I can pull up that individual company record if I want to. Next, I'm going to go over and I'm going to navigate over to the contacts area. I'm going to pull up a list of my active contacts. And in this example, again, I'm going to be able to display those contacts here on the map. Now, I may want to actually filter this particular list. So I'm going to go ahead and add my filters on here. I'm going to say that I want to just see the people that have either entry one or entry level two. And so I'm going to bring that list down a little bit. I would just want to see the actual applicants themselves. So I'm going to uh, filter down even further. And quite frankly, if I wanted to just filter that one more time by, let's say, people that were 30 years and younger. So in this case, I'll say less than 31. I'm actually going to get a very short list here. Now I can see all those people still displayed dynamically here on the page. And if I, for instance, wanted to get somebody near Tennessee, I can see that Dave Smithers is one of those individuals. And so I can click on Dave's contact record right from the map and pull up his, his information here inside of CRM. And now in the third scenario, I'm going to go over to the jobs area. This is opportunities that we've relabeled for this given scenario so that we can actually track applicants. So we're now looking at a list of all of my open vacancies or the jobs that I'm actually working on. I may want to use my charts to help me navigate through my list. Perhaps I'm going to focus on Coca-Cola here right now. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this particular job search that I'm doing for Coca-Cola. Now, as I open up this particular job search, you'll see the key stages that I'm going to go through across the top. I'm going to do some qualification. I'm going to set some interviews. We're going to make an offer and hopefully close up a, a job uh, candidate for Coca-Cola. I've got all my key criteria down here on the, on the left that I'm working with. I don't have any matches so far, so we're going to go ahead and look inside of our applicant uh, database and see if we can make some matches here. Now, the criteria that maybe Coca-Cola is looking for, they may have a certain age limit that they're um, needing to stay within for this particular job. They may have some math or English skills that they need to uh, focus on that would be the criteria for this particular job. So in this case, I'm going to set the math skills entry level to one. Um, I'm going to put the contact type to be all the applicants that are in our contact database. And then finally, I'm going to say initially that we are looking for anybody that's within 50 miles of their location. You'll notice that Coca-Cola is already mapped here on the, uh, on the radius map, so we're going to go ahead and see if anybody else shows up on here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the map. And we can see that in this case that Dave Smithers is within the 50 mile radius, is a, a contact type of applicant, and has certainly at least math skills of entry level one. Now, in this example, maybe Coca-Cola is looking to interview at least three or four people, so we're going to have to expand our uh, criteria here. So in this case, I'll just expand perhaps the, uh, the distance. And so now I'm going to set the radius to 750 miles instead of 50. I'm going to refresh the map here. And we can actually see that there's four people that show up. 
um, that meet that criteria. So that's excellence. Now we want to go from being able to map these people here on the on the actual map itself to now being able to say let's take that search results and apply those or match those against this particular uh, job search. So I'm going to come back up to the top. I'm going to simply click on the create matches and it's going to link those four individuals now against this particular job search so we can go ahead and start the interview process. And with that, I want to do a quick wrap up. I want to thank you all for watching the video here today and seeing how Bing Maps can be brought together with Microsoft Dynamics CRM to provide you that better visual experience inside the application. If you have any questions about what you saw in the video here today, please feel free to reach out to us. Thanks and have a great day.